Alright guys, so today I am bringing you another team build video. The other team build I did last week was the steroid and PED suspension build, and you guys really liked that video. It got a lot of views, it got a lot of good reception in the comments, so I figured I'd do another team build. You guys left a lot of cool comments for things that you guys would like for me to do, but this idea for this team build actually came from Twitter, and it actually came directly from the official MLB account. They posted this tweet where it was talking about the best players in the league 24 and under and you know what when I see an image like that I say it all the time first thing I think of is Diamond Dynasty so yes we are doing a 24 and under team build today we have a 25 man roster compiled of all players who are 24 years old or younger let's take a look at who we got today all right so right off the bat it might be a little bit of a controversial pick but I think it's personally fine that he's in my lineup but I'm going with the future stars Francisco Mejia now I know his card right there does say 25 but the thing about the future stars card is it projects three years into the future so this is technically a version of I think what is 2020 card so in 2020 he'll be 25 but right now he is still 22 so I think it's okay that I use this card. You guys might not like it, but I'm doing it. I don't care. 76, 84 contact, 82 vision, 86 arm strength. He's going to be able to handle business behind the plate. So he should be a pretty decent catcher for us. This might also be his like debut game for the, the squad. At first base, we have Los Angeles Dodgers phenom Cody Bellinger, 83 overall. Cody Bellinger is one of the best young talents in the league right now. He had a great rookie season where he put together some epic numbers. So Bellinger is a beast. Happy to have him on this team over at second base one of the newest young players in the game one of the most exciting guys to keep your eyes on right now Ozzy Albies from the Atlanta Braves him and another guy on the Braves you probably already know who I'm talking about he'll be on the lineup as well uh, make the Braves a very very fun team to watch they play with just so much raw energy and charisma I really like what Albies is bringing to the table and he's an extra base hit machine at third base we have Houston Astros third baseman Alex Bregman former world champion and uh, you know he's a gold guard 83 overall he'll be able to handle business over there at third base he is very good I don't know why I'm not as high on Bregman. I don't feel like Bregman is going to be all that great in the next few years. I don't know why. It's just kind of a hunch I have, even though he played so good in the World Series, made some stellar defensive plays. I don't know. I'm just not sold on him, but hey, I would be totally, I would be okay if he proved me wrong. All right, so at shortstop, there were a couple guys I could go with right here, a couple diamonds actually, but the guy that I decided to go with was Francisco Lindor. So Lindor will be playing shortstop for me. One of the big names that I don't have on this lineup is going to be Carlos Correa. I figured they both play shortstop. I might as well just choose one or the other. And I just went with Lindor for the uh, fact that he's a switch hitter. That's really all I did. So Correa definitely should be recognized, but I don't have him on this squad. So I'm just going to be using Lindor. Over in left field, we already talked about him in the, uh, or in the earlier part when I was talking about Albies. Acuna is going to be manning a left field dude he is going to be one of the best players in the game in the next couple years he's already showing signs that he has a crazy good bat and he's just going to be so exciting to watch in the next couple years definitely baseball is in some good hands with him in center field we have minnesota twins outfielder byron buxton the man has so much speed he is going to be uh, all over the base paths for me today if i can get on base with him so i'm looking forward to giving him a go and in right field phil out the starting nine for position players we've got Nomar Mazzara from the Texas Rangers he's got some good pop especially against right-handed pitchers Nomar Mazzara can swing it and in that Texas ballpark being a lefty he's gonna have a lot of success there especially more success in the future as far as my ace starting pitcher we do have Luis Severino he did just go up to an 86 overall diamond so I'm happy to see that I'm able to use Severino today we also got four other pitchers in there that are really good so let's take a look at what the rest of our squad is going to look like. For the rest of the starting rotation, we've got Lance McCullers Jr., Aaron Nola, Jose Barrios, and Shohei Otani. On the bench, we've got Andrew Benintendi, Yoan Mankata, Trey Turner, Rafael Devers, and Paul DeYoung. And in the bullpen, we've got Josh Hader, Jose Torres, Coda Glover, Roberto Osuna, Edwin Diaz, Keon Kela, and Jose Leclerc. I'm honestly not sure how to say that guy's name at all. So there's a couple guys in here that are 24 and under that didn't make this lineup so Walker Bueller uh, Alex 
Reyes, Jordan Hicks isn't even in the game. He's nowhere to be found. And like I said, Correa, and there's a couple other guys that I could have been in here. But hey, I, this is the team I decided to go with. Let me know in the comments who else could have made this roster. And this is just the 25 guys that I decided to go with. So anyway, guys, we're going to take this team into ranked seasons and see if we can get a dub with the 24 and under team build. All right, we're taking on the Cal Lutheran Kingsman. Actually funny, I live about three minutes away from this college that he is representing. We got Otani on the mound, and this is the lineup he's going with. He's got some diamonds. He's got Seager and Rizzo. Don't sleep on JD and Cruz, though. They've got some crazy pop. Like I say all the time, let me know other team builds that you guys would like to see. I'll definitely go through the comments. These are, these videos are really fun for me. Obviously, I've got Angel in the outfield. Obviously, I got all the updates and stuff like that that I do, but anytime I can have a fun idea to make a video about, I'm definitely like all about it because... I've made, I haven't made a secret how I feel about this year's game if you watch my streams So anytime I can kind of change things up and have a good time making a video I'm all about it Also, it's nice that we got Otani on the mound because we now don't have to worry about having a weak bat when our pitcher is at the plate That was a dirty splitter right there. So this is this isn't looking too bad for us Ah gave him the curveball. He was able to wait back on it hit it in between the shift right there and JD Martinez is on with one out Oh, we should be able to turn two out of this. 31 speed going down the first baseline. Let's go. The infield made the play. Bellinger is able to scoop it. That is a good double play to get out of the inning. Mejia, there we go. Fastball right down the middle from a lefty, and we did not miss it. He does hit lefties better than righties. Let's go. I will take that one out double. Cody Bellinger. Oh, let's go. Mejia, 53 speed. He'll be able to score. Cody Bellinger with an RBI single, which he ended up turning into a double. Let's go. Back-to-back -back extra base hits. We're on the board. All right, here we go, guys. This is the first time I've used Acuna leading off the second inning. So I'm, uh, I'm going to take first pitch. Just I want to kind of get deeper in the at-bat with him and see how he can handle it. So Acuna versus Price. No, dude. What am I doing? I should have, that would have been ball three. I don't think that would have been a strike. I don't know why I was chasing that. My bad. We got Albies up now. Ooh, Albies hit it hard to first base. So neither of the Braves phenoms are getting on. Oh, dude, Otani is filthy. That curveball has got him looking like a fool. Dude, even the changeup inside to Cano is fooling him. Let's go, dude. Otani is nice right now. Ground ball to third base. Bregman is there. Four speed going down the line. Hey, first time through the order for Otani. Only one hit. Got that double play in the first. I'll take that. Right up the middle. Come on, get through there. Get through there. You should be able to beat this out, right? Why does it... Did it look like he was jogging? Bro. Wait, hold on. Hold on. There's no way... This Okay, this is in real time. This is in real time, all right? This isn't fast-forwarded or anything. This is 69 speed. This is 69 speed for Lindor. That looks like he's jogging on a ground ball up the middle. Did he think he was going to get a base hit out of that or something? That does not look like 69 speed. That's a ball he should easily be able to beat out. Just another reason for MLB The Show's online to get criticized. Oh, come on. Make a play. Oh, my. No way. No way. No shot. Yeah. All right. It was a good effort, Lindor. Two outs in the uh, fifth inning. You know, Billy Williams got 51 speed. That's deep in the hole. It's a good effort. Oh, let's go. His creative player just hit a swing bunt. Dude, Otani gunned that. Did you guys see that? He threw that thing like 105. He's like Jordan Hicks. Oh, let's go. Ozzy Albies. I told you, he's an extra base hit machine. That's going all the way to the 390 sign. We're going to go for three. We'll easily get in there at third base. Ozzy Albies lead off triple in the bottom of the fifth. And then Byron Buxton, that ball is going to be deep enough. It doesn't even have to leave the yard for this run to get in. JD Martinez is not going to be able to throw him out. Look at that arm, dude. What a cannon out there for JD Martinez. Top of the sixth inning, Otani is still... Ah, I was about to say, he's still dealing. That's going to be just a little bloop hit, though. Ain't nothing you can really do about that. You made a pitch, you jammed him, he just blooped it. That's baseball. So we pinch hit Luis Gonzalez for David Price. So we'll see who he goes to in the next inning for the pitcher. This is going to be an easy play for Acuna. You don't even need to get behind it. He's not going to even threaten going to second base. There we go. We got one down. And Corey Seager. 
Easy double play. All day long, let's keep turning them, boys. Dude, Francisco Mejia is a beast. I'm three for three with him. A double and two singles? This man's killing it. I might have to give this guy a shot in regular ranked seasons. Or I mean on my regular ranked seasons team. This is ranked seasons, but you guys get what I mean, okay? You get what I'm saying. Oh my god, you cannot throw that pitch to Cody Bellinger with a right-handed pitcher. That ball is absolutely annihilated. We should be able to score on this. Let's see if he throws it to third. No, he's going home. We should be in there. Cody Bellinger, RBI triple. Let's go, man. The extra base hits are popping today. No more Mazzara up the middle. There's less than two outs. That's going to be an easy run. Hey, it's not a glamorous home run, but it gets the job done. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no way. We're gonna get to third out of that too. I'm so sorry. Albies with another triple, but that's probably gonna be an error. Let's see if Otani can drive in Albies. And he can. Yo, just like Mazzara. It's not a glamorous hit, but it gets the job done. Otani helping himself out. Oh, that's the best swing that my opponent has gotten all day. Gave him the splitter, he waited back on it, and hit it really hard up the middle. Great swing. But once again- Oh! Okay, it's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. And he's gonna get his first run of the game, thanks to an RBI from Robinson Cano. Alright, hey, 5-1 ball game. He's got first and second, we gotta be careful right here. Yes, we got the lead runner. Let's go. Whew. Weird decision, but we got the out. Albies should be able to make that play. All right, there we go. Hey, Otani was in a little bit of a jam right there. We got out of it. Only one run allowed. That's a W. Francisco Mejia. No way did he just hit a home run. No way did he just hit a home run and go four for four. It's over the fence. Francisco Mejia. Four for four on the day. A double, or no, a triple, a home run, and two singles. No, no, there was no triple, I'm sorry. He hit a double, two singles, and a home run. So he was just a triple off of the cycle. Okay, so we're in the top of the ninth. I do have Josh Hader and Edwin Diaz warming up in the bullpen, but Shohei Otani has been absolutely filthy today. Only one real hiccup inning in the eighth. So we're gonna see uh, if he can go CG right here. First batter, J.D. Martinez, right up the middle to Albies. Damn, it took a lot of time to get rid of that ball. He almost beat that out, but hey, I'll take the first out. Another ball right to Ozzy Albies. Let's go. He's been busy out there at second. Oh, that's a hanging pitch. And he got underneath it. Get there, Bregman. End this game. And Anthony Rizzo fouls out to end the game. And there you guys go. The 24 and under squad took a 6 to 1 victory. Francisco Mejia, 4 for 4 with a home run and a double. Cody Bellinger had a triple. Ozzy Albies had a triple. They didn't count the other one as a triple. They counted it as an error, and rightfully so. But hey, this lineup is actually really good. Really easy to hit with, surprisingly. The righties and lefties. There's a lot of balance in this 24 and under lineup. So, really fun video. But guys, of course, let me know what other team builds you would like to see. Is there any other ideas you have in mind? All of those thoughts, leave them down in the comments. I'll take a look at them for my next team build whenever that is. I don't have a schedule for it yet. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you did enjoy it, hit that thumbs up button. That really helps me, uh, you know, judge if you guys like these videos or not. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're new to never miss any MLB The Show videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.